these are clear lenses with a black housing um, so i think they're going to look pretty good on project storm and for the bulbs we went back to basla uh, these are the same this is the same company that i'm using um, for the led bulbs on frostbite hauler on my diesel truck and those bulbs are still working good so we got a set of basla bulbs to put in the new headlights What's up Mopar fam? We are back out here today and we are working on Project Storm. We have a couple goodies to put on Storm. Uh, we got a set of brand new headlights for Project Storm along with a set of LED bulbs as well for the brand new headlights we just got. Um, so the headlights we have for Project Storm are Blackout Edition projector lights from Autosaver and the LED bulbs we got are from Bosla and those bulbs are 6500K. Uh, so we already started kind of working on Storm a little bit. We got the old headlights out of the truck, as you can see right here. And we have the new ones and the new bulbs over here on my trailer. So we're going to go check them out real quick. We just unboxed them. And here is the new headlights and the new bulbs. So these are a blacked out version. It's got a black housing. These are projector headlights, as you can see. and here's the other one now the lens is a clear lens so we should have plenty of light transfer on the road um, as some tinted lenses i've had those in the past actually look pretty cool but don't work so well but these are clear lenses with a black housing um, so i think they're going to look pretty good on project storm and for the bulbs we went back to basla uh, these are the same this is the same company that I'm using um, for the LED bulbs on Frostbite hauler on my diesel truck. And those bulbs are still working good. So we got a set of Basla bulbs to put in the new headlights. Um, these are just a one color 6500K bulb. They do have uh, fans on them. These are very good, nice quality bulbs. Now, the headlights from Autosaver does include headlight bulbs as well um, but they are your uh, regular like halogen bulbs so we removed those we wanted to go back with leds so that's what we're doing uh, so we already put the new basla led bulbs in these auto saver headlights and the other thing i want to mention is the auto saver headlights also supplies you with an instructions sheet of how to remove the old headlights and install the new ones and some wiring schematics on the back as well so very helpful there and if you're interested in these headlights i will put the amazon link in the video description below so just scroll down and you'll see the link it'll take you right to them and the same thing with the basla bulbs they will be in the description as well link provided will take you to basla site for their led bulbs and they have all types of different leds um, for headlights and pretty much any kind of bulb or light out there you can think of so other than that we are going to get these new headlights installed and see what they look like on project storm all right we got both of the new headlights projector lights mounted up in storm that's with the new basla leds and we have a fog light out on this side of the truck that we know about time to get some new fog lights for it now but the headlights look good we like them and again these are 6500k basla led bulbs that we installed and these headlights do have the option to have a daytime running lamp which is this uh light strip right here we did not wire that up as we really do not want daytime running lights so we left them off um, frostbite is the same way i have similar headlights like this on frostbite as you guys know and i did not 
wire that up as that's an option. Um, we did not want that to be lit up all the time, so we're just going to run just the headlights in there. Um, but that is an option if you want to wire that up. And the instructions for that is in the uh, little instruction sheet that they supply you with the headlights. And it's pretty much a simple two-wire um, hookup from what I can see in the instructions. Pretty simple to wire it up if you want to use those, um, but that is an option. Other than that, they look pretty good. Um, when it gets dark, we're going to come out here and see what it looks like going down the driveway. And see what kind of light beam that we get. Um, but it does look like so far, it's kind of hard to see, but those are definitely pretty bright considering how bright it is outside right now. So we'll check them out when it gets dark. And there's another close up shot with the bulbs off so you can kind of see the housings, but everything's so new. We got pretty good amount of reflection on the lens there. So, but I think it gives Project Storm a a little bit darker appearance but there you go guys like i said we'll come out here uh, when it gets dark and we will see what kind of light beam we get with the new auto saver headlights and the bosla bulbs a little shot of the torque storm hiding under project storm yeah all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed the quick little video of the headlight replacement on project storm definitely gives project storm a little bit more of a I'd say a stormy look kind of little blackout feature there um, the Basla bulbs are definitely bright as they've been working great for frostbite holler back there my diesel truck um, no complaints the bulbs work fantastic they're super bright and I am definitely impressed with them so like I said we'll come out here at nighttime and we'll fire these things up and see what kind of light beam we get down my driveway right here so other than that guys don't forget hit that subscribe button hit the like button put a comment down there below what you think of these new headlights and if you're interested the link will be in the description below for the headlights and the Basla bulbs if interested and we'll see you guys on the next one oh hell